Cyberbullying is bullying that takes place using electronic devices and equipment, such as cell phones, computers, and tablets, as well as social media sites, text messages, chat, email, and websites. There are differences in physical bullying and cyberbullying. In physical bullying, the individual knows the bully, it occurs on school property, and the individual may have poor relationships with teachers. They also fear retribution, which could be physical, verbal, and nonverbal. In cyberbullying, the bully could remain anonymous, it can occur off school property, and the individual can maintain good relationships with teachers. There is a fear of loss of technology privileges and the bullying may go unnoticed and the emotional reactions may not be determined by anyone. Where can cyberbullying occur? Well, it can occur through email, instant messaging, chat rooms, website or gaming sites, digital messages, or images sent on a cellular phone. Cyberbullying facts. The average cyberbully starts at the age of nine. 42% of kids admit to have been bullied online. 35% have been threatened. 21% have received threatening messages via email. 58% have not told an adult. And only one in three houses with internet actively protect their children. Here are some cyberbullying tips for students. Tell a trusted adult about the bullying and keep telling until you find someone who takes action. Don't open or read messages from cyberbullies. Tell a teacher or an administrator at your school if it is school related. Do not erase the messages they may be needed to take action. Protect yourself. Never agree to meet face to face with anyone you meet online. If bullied through chat or instant messaging, the bully can be blocked. If you are threatened with harm, inform the police.